Welcome to Inside Warhawk Sports alongside head women's soccer coach Ryan Kwame. I'm Sean Tien. Coach, you're still in the midst of your first season uh, ever as the head women's soccer coach here at Whitewater. Your team has won the WIAC, uh, the WIAC regular season and conference titles. Uh, what can you say about your team's efforts so far this season? Uh, it's been an extremely exciting year, obviously. It's a great group of women. Uh, I've been here for five years, and the program just continues to grow. So uh, we had a lot of goals we wanted to do, and one of them was to, to finally win the conference tournament uh, to know we were in the NCAA. So uh, it's a great group of seniors. that meant a lot for this program, and it's exciting that they still have the opportunity to continue playing. On Friday, uh, you will be uh, beginning postseason play in the NCAA Regional Championships. Uh, you'll be down in Wheat your team will be down in Wheaton playing Wittenberg University. How do you prepare your team for for postseason play as opposed to regular season games? Well, we we try to approach every game the same. You know, uh, having been through the conference tournament that helped us, we we played two teams that were fighting to continue their season. So it obviously prepares you a little bit for the NCAA tournament, but it's a little different. We're playing back-to-back -back games. We haven't done that a lot this year, and you're preparing for three teams in, in three or four days of practice. So uh, we'll just start gathering information on all the teams, and you know we're a confident group, and we're playing some good ball right now. So we'll just do what we do. Chrissy Torn has had quite the senior year for your team as she leads the team with 12 goals. Uh, 31 points on the year, but what else is there to say about Chrissy Torrin? Well, she's a special talent. Uh, we're very happy to have her. She's a great work rate. Um, she just she just continues to improve, and she, she's a big target physically, uh, which is a big help in D3. So it's no secret that a lot of our offense goes through her. Uh, Chrissy, the last month or so, I think has kind of realized that she's coming down to the end of her career, which is a good problem for us and a difficult problem for our opponents because she's pretty motivated, uh, which is great to see. Now, you were talking about earlier, uh, or just, just a, a moment ago, how you, you've been here for five years. You served as the top assistant for the men's and the women's program under Greg Henschel, who left for UW-Milwaukee. Uh, when you got the, the job to become the head coach of the women's soccer program, were you nervous? Were you excited? I mean, what were, what were your feelings? Uh, I think a little bit of both, uh, but, you know, it's, it's where I wanted to be. It's a, it's a great university. Um, it, the facilities are phenomenal. And then, more importantly, I, I think I was – pretty involved in the recruitment of a lot of our girls. So uh, I knew we had a special group coming back. I knew the transition would be pretty easy, and they've made it even easier than I expected. Now, you were the interim head coach for the men's program at, at, during the spring uh, until Tony Gwynn was hired as the men's head coach uh, full-time. Uh, what, what do you think it would have been like if you would have had to be in charge of not only one program but two soccer programs here? Yeah, I think it was time to split the program. Um, Dr. Polinsky and I talked about that when, when Greg moved on. A great group of guys as well. They had, a, they had a great season as well. I'm happy for them. I'm obviously very connected to a lot of them. But, you know, last year's NCAA tournament was a perfect example. The men were in St. Louis and the women were in Lavery, Iowa, and the coaching staff couldn't be in two places at once. And, um, you know, I, I logged a lot of hours getting to both places that weekend, but Coach Henschel wasn't able to. And I think at the end of the day, there's just more preparation that we can focus on one team, both in recruiting and in our season. So it, it's an exciting move for both programs to have split. In the previous years, you were the head coach at Milton High School nearby uh, before taking the, the head coaching position here at UW-Whitewater. What's the greatest difference between, would you say, between the high school game and the college game in terms of the speed and just the style of play? Yeah, I mean, I did high school and club for, for quite a while. Um, it's the speed is different. I mean, the, the being on a weight program for three or four years, I mean, the difference of a freshman coming in here and somebody that's been working with Coach Munger for three or four years is quite a bit different physically. So, you know, I think it, college soccer, I kind of sum up, it's kind of a cross between a high-level club and high school as far as style of play. You get a little bit of direct play, but you get a little bit of indirect play as well. Lastly, what do you what do you enjoy most about being the head coach here at UW Whitewater? Uh, I just enjoy coming in every day. I'm, I'm an athletic guy. I love all sports, not just soccer, and it's a neat environment to come in and see everybody doing well and pick the brains of a great coaching staff. And then most importantly, to, to come in every day and deal with a great group of 18 to 22-year-old student athletes and, and hopefully have a positive impact on their life. I, I tell my wife all the time I'm, I'm doing what I love to do, and not everybody can say that. So that that's, keeps me going every day easily. So. For head women's soccer coach Ryan Kwame, I'm Shanti, and that was Inside Warhawk Sports.